overly happy with the way this turned out. As you see, it's straight, doesn't have the curve in the back, so I'm going to have to have these fixed. And there's just, there's not enough room when you sit in the seat, you're just sandwiched to the front steering wheel. So I figured if I had the seats done, it might motivate me to try and get this thing running where I could enjoy it. I wanted to show you an interesting feature on this Scout that uh, International Harvester guy made a comment on my previous videos on this thing. If you look, the bulkhead drops down where you can walk through to the back seat, but this vehicle was not always like that. It used to be straight across. And this particular Scout is a 1961 and it would have been designed, the early ones were designed primarily for use as the pick with the kip. These early International Scouts were designed primarily to be used as a pickup. It's my understanding that that's kind of how they thought they would really be used and never really thought they would catch on as an SUV per se, more so a work pickup style vehicle, much to their surprise. A lot of people that wound up putting the uh, cabs over the back, like this one, they would cut these bulkheads out so that you could access the rear seat, you know, through the, through the doors, which only makes sense. Really don't have a whole lot of plans to redo the outside of this International Scout. Uh, I do want to redo the inside of it. Uh, excitedly, I just recently finally got the rusty hinges to break free. So you can now put the windshield down, which is pretty darned exciting. Um, it was just completely frozen up, so it took quite a bit of solvent to fix that problem. Primarily thinking about just doing a rhino lining on the inside of the Scout just to make the inside nice and keep it preserved, keep it from rusting out, and then redo the dash and I don't know, what do you think? Should I do it in white or a black? I kind of like the idea of doing it white and chrome with the black controls and knobs. And this whole mirror here, I'm gonna make that functional. Uh, I'll bend it back out, straighten it, put a uh, mirror in there. Basically, my plans for the Scout are to keep this thing preserved and quite a bit of the original details. It has a very homemade winch system that my grandfather built into this bumper, which is pretty cool. Uh, worked on trying to clean up a lot of the rust where stuff would function on it properly and uh, one of these days in hopes that I'll get around to trying to hook up the electricity and see how well it does. One of the interesting things about this Scout, if I haven't showed you, is it has a Ford 289 that my grandfather put in it back in the early 70s. So it has the same engine that that car has. How crazy is that?